Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to announce that I am a guest designer for Concord and 9th this month. So I thought that I would just make a quick video and kind of go through all of the stamp sets that are releasing this month, starting with this dotted fill-in stamp set. Now I will let you know that I'm focusing on this and the feathered stamp and dies today uh, because that is what they are featuring today for the featured designers. So I will show you the other stamp sets as well, uh, but these are the two sets that I'll show you the cards that I've made with them. So this is a really fun stamp set as it actually stamps the background and leaves the polka dots blank or white or whatever color your cardstock is. It also comes with these dies that it has. So the circle dies will actually cut out some of the circles in the uh, stamp and the dotted stamp um, and as well as hearts. Now you can see here from the three cards that I've made that I decided to do a little something different with each one. So this ice cream cone card um, is actually just using the uh, circle dies in the coordinating dies and so I cut them out and then used the fill or the full circle stamp that comes in the stamp set with the ice cream cone stamp as well so another really great thing about this set is that it comes with some really fun additional accessory stamps so that you can create a look that doesn't have to be polka dots it can be something else like oranges or ice cream cones uh, or you can just use it like I did here as the background of uh, a stamp and I love the way that that looks as well so I'm now going to go ahead and go through the other sets that are releasing this month. If you are interested in just seeing the card that I create with the feathered stamp and die, you can go ahead and just jump to three minutes and seven seconds where I create the card. This here is the floral, I'm sorry, the fine line floral stamp and die set. I love the large stamp of all the florals there. I like that it's sort of all together so you don't have to do a lot of masking it's already like on top and underneath each other and I also really love the fine lines of the stamps that you can see there at the bottom those florals that are sort of hiding behind that card and the dies also cut out a really fine line and detail of the flowers so you can use them by themselves or with the stamps as well and I really love that idea now we're moving on to the turnabout this month. This is the Birdie Talk turnabout. It also comes, or it has coordinating dies, and it's a paper piecing die. So you can see that really sweet little bird there on the card. Um, right to the right of it, you can see those dies. And all of the tiny little pieces you can uh, die cut from different cardstock, colored cardstock, or use your inks to color it. And it creates this super cute little bird. So you can use that with the turnabout stamp or without. And the turnabout also is very cool. It, sort of is cohesive and comes together and I love that. This is the Big Thanks stamp and die set and I really love this. This is great for a lot of different cards that you can make. It's good for a quick card. We can all use a quick thank you card. And then also, of course, you have the free gift, which is this deco stitched border die. So anything over $60, you will also receive this border die in your order as well. So let's go ahead and get started on the feather stamp and die set and I'll be creating a quick card with this today. I really love this stamp set. I love that you have the option of using just the single feathers. You can put them together. They've got that one that you can stamp in different uh, pieces together like the top and the middle and the bottom. Uh, but I'm going to be using mainly the dies today. So what I'm going to do is take this piece of distress uh, watercolor cardstock and I'm using the rough side I'm going to take my water brush and just make sure that I get it, the entire cardstock wet and then I'm going to drop some Altenew watercolor brush markers and I'm taking this really vibrant pink and this yellow and I'm just letting them sort of play around in the water I'm letting it go out. I love the way that looks. It's like a firework or something. And then I'm really just adding more water, more color, letting it play around on the cardstock. What I really want is just for a nice wash sort of from like a very bright pink to a nice soft yellow. So all I'm really doing is moving the cardstock around and letting the water take the paint into different parts of the cardstock. And after I dried that with my heat tool, I'm going to use this die and you can see that it's got a lot of fun detail there with the sort of like stitch or stitching inside the feather. So I'm going to cut out two of those and I'm going to make sure that the very 
uh, sort of base of the feather if, or the top if you're holding it upside down like I am is in the pink and then it goes into the yellow and I really love that vibrancy that you get when you cut them out and, and now they're its own focal piece and I really love that. So I'm now using some of the accessory stamps. I'm using this flower and a leaf stamp and I'm going to use the coordinating dies that come in the set to cut these out. And once they are cut out, I'm going to adhere them together with glue so that it looks like one piece, like a flower and then the leaves out to the side of it. And I'm going to use that the very top I'm going to end up using it at the very top of my feathers to make it look as if it's holding the feathers together and they're just hanging down. So I know that this is going to end up being a very simple card. So what I want to do is just a few things to elevate it. So I'm going to end up scoring a frame into my card front. So I'm taking a four by five and a quarter piece of white cardstock, which will serve as my card front. And I'm scoring, like I said, a frame into it. So I'm taking every a quarter of an inch on each corner and just coming down until there's about a quarter of an inch left and then you get this really fun frame it adds a lot of interest to the piece without really adding too much detail and taking away from my focal point which is this, which are these really vibrant feathers so I wanted to make sure that they were really the standout piece in this card so I'm going to go ahead and adhere this flower right to the top of those feathers there. I'm just going to do that with glue and also adhere the feathers together. That way they are all sort of in a nice little piece together. Now for my sentiment, I didn't want to add too much. So the die set actually comes with this really cool sentiment die. It says happiness. And I don't know if you could see, but it's just basically the little piercings. So I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine and I'll show you in just a minute here when I take this off. It's basically just tiny little dots that it has pressed into the cardstock and you can see it says happiness and I love that. It's, a, it's again the same type of thing as my scored frame where it adds and you can see it and it adds interest but it doesn't overtake the focal point or the or the card which is really great for clean and simple cards which I really love creating. So there is a sentiment in the set, in the stamp set that is says better together. So I'm just using the word together. I'm going to stamp that in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink right underneath that die word happiness. And then I'll take a piece of foam tape to the back and top of those feathers. I'm going to adhere it right there to the top. And I want, I don't want to adhere the whole thing because I want that illusion of the feathers hanging. So if they move around a little bit when you pick it up or if you open it, that's the illusion that I want it to give. So finally, I went ahead and adhered the card front to an A2 size card, or I'm oh, sorry, an A2 size base. And here's what I ended up with. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll check out uh, the links in the description for your Concord 9th new release. Let me know what your favorite product is from the new release, and I will see you again very soon. Links to my blog and all of the supplies that I use today are in the description. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.